So I will take it away with a next one here. So we talked about SEM Rush so far and Google Search Console. Why don't we talk about Ubersuggest, probably one of the funnier name tools that we have here today. So Ubersuggest is a tool created by Neil Patel and his team and his company. Um, it's kind of a freemium product in the sense that you can use it for free, but uh, it has like some premium levels to it to allow you to do more. I feel, I don't know this for sure, but I feel like Neil Patel, he's like kind of a luminary in the traffic growth and SEO space, developed a tool as kind of like a Legion thing and then realized, you know, this is a really great product. Tons of people using it. They'll probably pay money for it and, you know, kept developing it. And it's just really compelling. I think, you know, he'd like, he looked at some of these other tools out there and what they did well, maybe things they didn't do so well and, and came up with this. And I, my feeling is, my intuition is that the things that he might have thought that people weren't doing well with their tools is that there's many of these keyword research tools and SEO tools out there that are just super bloated, right? They got so much going on. They're really unwieldy. SEM Rush, I feel, is really great. But, you know, as we saw, like it does a lot. And sometimes it can be kind of a bear to get loaded and stuff like that. Whereas SEO, you know, Uber suggests is actually pretty slim down and slick. So, you know, what can you do from the free standpoint? You know, I've already got a, a page loaded here, but essentially you can search by either a domain name or for a website or a keyword. Um, and then you get all kinds of information that you can work with. It's all pretty well organized in kind of a dashboard format. And, you know, you can get some stuff right off the bat. So I just did a kind of a, a search here for search engine optimization, right? Like that's it's pretty meta. But but there you go. I knew there'd be something that would show up for that. And we can find out stuff like search volume. You know, when we talk about this stuff, when we talk about extrapolated data, you know, this is information like that comes from Google, where it's like the approximate number of searches per month, that sort of deal. Um, SEO difficulty, pay difficulty. Some of these things aren't, you know, hard and fast rules, but they're kind of approximations based on the the stuff that the these these tools see. But is it going to be easy to rank for this? Is it going to be a lot of work? What's the average cost per click if you wanted to pay for an ad to use that? Um, there's these all kind of upgrade uh, kind of components here, right? So if you want to get more information, you're going to have to get out of the free version. So that's important to note that there's limitations to what you do for free. Um, but once you're in there, you can kind of manage projects and see their progress. So a lot of these components that SEM Rush has, which I, I think is you're getting more in that realm of like agency level stuff, enterprise kind of level tools, you know, Uber just can, can I do some of that too, but you're going to have to upgrade for sure and, and get, get some of that. Um, I really like kind of the visual representation. Um, that it provides, you know, whether it's like trends or volume or the difficulty, because it makes it easy for me when I'm using it to kind of get a uh, kind of just a kind of a snap glance at stuff and see what's happening there. Um, I actually use Uber Suggest if I need to find keyword data very quickly. Like if I'm just like, okay, let me just find, you know, the basics information for this keyword, I'll pull up that one rather than SEM Rush. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm kind of the same way on that. Um, it, it loads really quick. It's really streamlined if I want to get some quick information. And, you know, the next tool we're going to look at um, is going to be Google Keyword Planner. I feel like a lot of the data is, with a lot of these, it's going to be the same because it's a lot. There's, it's coming from Google, more or less. So, um, you know, I, I can get a quick glance. Rather, if I want to do a real deep dive, I, I might use that instead. I might use Google Keyword Planner. Um, you know, it's, it's fairly low cost compared to some of the more comprehensive tools you know, um, like SEM Rush, But for what you get, I think it's actually a, a pretty good deal. Um, but there you go, Uber suggests. I like it. It's gonna be pretty useful in a pinch. But, you know, keep in mind that you can only use it so much for free. You know, daily free searches, other things are, are blocked out. So there you go. Hi, this is Sarah from Denver Data Web. Thanks for watching. Please like our video and subscribe for future digital strategy chats. You can also visit our website at denverdata.com or find us on social media at Denver Data Web.